Hinggit, di ba? Para mabago ka, kapatid. Alhasan, ang ibig sabihin niya ay maingit ka o magselos ka. Pero, hindi natin maiwasan, tayo ay naingit at magsiselos. Ha? Asara, tama ba ako? Ikaw minsan naingit? Sometimes. Sometimes. Lahat nagsiselos. Hindi maiwasan. Kasi nasa puso niya ng tao eh, di ba? And I think if you don't get zealous or invade some others, and then there is a normality in yourself. Right? So this is a normal for a human being to get jealous. But the point here is that how do we define in Islam the meaning of hasad? What is hasad? <clears throat> Al-hasad, listen very carefully. This is how the ulama, uh, Muslim scholars, define what is hasad in Islam. Al-hasad, Al-hasad. Okay. Al-hasad. Meaning, Taman ni, Taman ni, Taman ni, Nuzul, Yes. It is haram. Why it is haram? Tell me, why it is haram? Bakit haram at pinagbabawal yun? Yung hasad na yun. Yung selos, normal, nagsiselos ka. Pero huwag humantong doon sa kung ano yung bilaya na yung binigay ng Allah sa kanya Ayun. na masabi mo sa sarili mo, sana matanggal yun. Sana mamatay siya. Sana hindi yan dapat sa kanya. Yun ang hasad at yun ang bawal. Bakit bawal mga patid? <coughs> atah suduna, atah suduna na sa fima atah umullah min fatim. Kinaiinggitan ninyo na ibig sabihin ng inggit dito ay matanggal ang biyaya ng Allah doon sa kanyang alipin na ibinigay sa kanya ng Allah. Nagsiselos kayo o gusto nyo na matanggal yung biyaya ko na ibigay ko sa tao yun na ako ang nagbigay sa kanya, ibig sabihin hindi ka satisfied sa kagustuhan ko na mabigay siya na yung 
biyaya na yan. So, ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Hindi ka kontento sa, sa Allah dahil naghihiling ka na sana mawala yun sa Kanya. So, this is haram. No more, no more. This is haram. You have to thank Allah. You, you know what's the secret of ikhlas? Ha? You might ask me, what is the secret of ikhlas? Ang ikhlas, mga kapatid, yung ikaw ay natutuwa sa biyaya na magbibigay ng Allah sa iyong kapwa na kapatid ng Muslim. At hindi yung sasama ng buhay mo. Hindi yung sasama ng buhay mo. Nasabi mo sana mamatay siya, wala yun sa kanya. No! Ang Allah nagbigay ito. So, dapat ang sasabihin mo daw, alam mo, Allah mabarik na huwag si Allah. Oh Allah, give him more blessings. Give him more blessings and make the blessings that you have given to him perfectly and victoriously. Kasi, you have to thank Allah for that. And if you will make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this brother should be given more, Allah also, even the angels of Allah, they said, wa anda bimithal. You also will be provided and given because of your prayers and sincerity to Allah that you ask something more blessings to your brother. You see, this is the result of ikhlas and ibad. Alhamdulillah. So that is the meaning of hasad. Wala tadabar. Tadabar meaning tinalikuran mo. Sino? Ang kapatid mo. Meaning, you don't be friend to him. You keep away from him. Or you cut your relationship to him. You have a good relation. You have, he is your brother. He is your cousin. He is your sister. Close in your family. Or your friends. But he did something wrong with you. Maybe he got mistake. She got mistake with you. But instead of forgiving him or her. But you said no. You have no forgiveness for me. This is about time for us to, to separate. And I got to hurt with you. And I will not forgive you. And I will not talk to you. This is haram. As a Muslim, you have to forgive your brothers. If Allah forgives, why can't you give forgiveness? There is no reason for you not to give forgiveness to anyone. Right? Everybody commits sins and mistakes. Nobody is perfect in this world. And one of the verses in the Holy Quran, Allah said in the Holy Quran, Masabi ko, Bil maghfirati min rabbikum wa jannatum wa jannatu arduha ka samawatu wal arbu indat li nuntaqin alladina yinfikuna fi sarra'i wa tarra'i wal kadi min al-ghayd wal a'fina anil nas subhanallah you see the verse in the Holy Quran Allah said in the Holy Quran wasabiquna bil maghfirah in this world we are chasing something more blessings who among us will get more money, benefits in life, children, and all the luxurious life in this world. But Allah said, you should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiveness. You should, go, you should do good deeds for the sake of Allah. Not because of money, wealth, and everything. All these things will be done. But what is the best for you as a Muslim is you go further of doing more good deeds so that Allah will forgive you. And Allah will uh, forgive you and you ask forgiveness to Him. Why? Because if Allah will forgive you for this, and then Allah is what well, Allah promised you to give you the paradise of Allah. Why? It is because you are doing, doing good deeds. It is because you are asking forgiveness of Allah. And what is the criteria of these people? Because they will be rewarded the paradise of Allah it's like the, the, the between the heavens and the earth. And who are they? Allah give them three sifat. Three, three categories, classifications of these people. First, uh, Those who give charity, those who give sadaqah, whenever they receive blessings, whenever they are down, if you are Muslim, when you are down, even if you are down or you are in good, you have still to give something to your brothers. Because Allah will give you. And Allah will give you more because of your generosity to the people. And after that, 
this is how we control ourselves. And those who control themselves when they get angry. You see, there is not the uh, connection with the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. If you are a Muslim believer to Allah, when you are get angry, you should control yourself. <laughs> I, am, I am telling this to myself because I also get angry. Do you get angry? Or do you get hungry? Both. <laughs> <laughs> hungry, of course, you will get angry when you are hungry. So if you are not hungry, you are full, inshallah, there is no reason for you to get angry. Only in a matter of something, somebody uh, go beyond their limits to, you know, to insult you or to take your rights, that's the time you get angry. But still, Allah said, Wal Those who control themselves when they are get angry. These are the people who are given blessings by Allah. Allahu Akbar. And then the third one is, Wal al Wal Afina Anin Nas. In those who give forgiveness to the people. Ya Allah. <laughs> ya Allah, forgive me and forgive the people who have betrayed us. Those who do get wrong with us. Diba? Papatawarin mo yung mga tao. Papatawarin mo ba yung umutang sa'yo ng limang daan riyan? Kapag wala nyo. Kapag wala nyo. Papatawarin mo ba siya? Hmm? Kapag wala nang... Kapag wala nang salo. <laughs> ha? Kapag ano? wala nang pag-asa magbayo, papatawarin ka. Pag wala nang... Wala nang pag-asa bumayad pa. Pag wala nang... Kung may sapatadalan sa... Hindi ko naiintindihan. Ang pagpapa ang tanong is kung mapapatawag mo ng utang sa iyo. Pag wala ka nang makita na way na makabayad pa siya, as a Muslim, pabayaan mo na lang. Yan, banda, mashallah. Pwede kayo umutag dito. May papatawag siya eh, mashallah. Bigyan mo sa akin namin ang mga. Mashallah. Kasi yun, mashallah, mapapatawag siya. Alam mo, ang pagpapatawag, hindi lang yung umutang sa iyo, papatawarin mo. Papatawarin mo yung tao na sinatangkan niya. Ah, yun ang masakit ko. <laughs> yun ang masakit. Paano mo mapapatawad ang sa tao na sinaktan niya ang puso mo? Oh, can you? Ari, basta. Makarila na sa tao ako. Kaya ka sakitan niya ng puso mo. Ano ba? Ito ba sa tao? Oo, ganun ang kadali yun. Tama ba? Mahirap. Mahirap eh kasi hindi mo makontrol yung puso na nasa tao. Pero ganun pa man, tayo Muslim na hindi babaw ang pagmamalaman ng salaw. Na dapat pa rin silang patawarin dahil tao na akong sila. At Allah, <coughs> mana, yuhibbu at kawabi wal mustagfirin wal mutatahirin. Mahal ng Allah ang nagpapatawad at humingi ng kapatawaran. At pag insya na nagpatawad, kapapatawarin ka rin ng Allah. Do you remember one of the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abdullah ibn sallam? Uh, one of the Sahaba came to him because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned whenever someone will come to this door, he is among the people of paradise. And somebody came. Third time, three days, whoever enters this door, he shall be the dweller of the people in paradise. Sabdullah Abdullah bin Salam. He said, who is this man? So this man is ordinary man. He is not amongst those people who used to seek with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi and being close to him and learning something about Islam. And then after this, the man came and followed him in his house. And he said to him, uh, can I stay with you in three days? Why? It's because my father and I, we have, you know, we don't have any understanding at this moment of time. So I need to keep away from him just only for three days. And I hope you will grant my wish. And the man said, okay, no problem. You can stay with me in the house. Only the purpose of Abdullah bin Sabah is only to know what this man is doing at night. What makes him something very special to Allah? 
And when the Prophet ﷺ witnessed him that he will be among the dwellers of paradise. When they sleep, this man looking at him, he is not even praying uh, Salatul uh, Salatul Layl, Tiyabul Layl. He is not making a hajjud. When they sleep, they sleep and then they pray maybe winter. Then after that, they get up in the fajr. And this is the usual. After three days, he observed everything all like this seems normal. And then he said to himself, what something makes different with this man? He is doing something not more, very special of worshiping God. <coughs> Until third time, the third day, he said, brother, I'm sorry, but I have to tell you the truth. I came to you to observe you within the period of three days because the Prophet ﷺ witnessed that you will be among the people of paradise. And why did I stay with you? Is because I want to know what makes you something special to Allah and to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam witness you that you will be among the people in paradise. Do you have, but, but I observe in three days you are doing nothing. I may be sometimes even more good performing doing ziyadatul amal than you. But I have seen nothing. Do you have any secret? You know the one said, Wallah well, I don't know. I don't have any secret. But this is what I know. What is that? When I sleep at night, or before I sleep at night, going to my bed, Allah Akbar, I make to uh, everything glorifying Allah. But in my heart, I never left any jealousy in vain, anger to anyone. My heart is open to everybody that whoever got wrong with me or I got wrong with them, I ask Allah to forgive me and to forgive them and I clean my heart in any sicknesses. Showing off, envy, anger, everything. My heart is free to forgive all the people. You will forgive the people who got money from you. Masha'Allah, uh, uh, that's good. Huh? Don't forget your number. Huh? Give me your number later. Now for this class. Wallahi, mga kapatid, may hirap ito. Bago ka matulog, magpapatawad sa mga tao na siniraan ka niya, nilibak ka niya, ninakaw niya, ang kinuha niyang pera mo, lupa mo, sinaktan niya ang puso mo, na hindi ka makatulog. Sabihin mo, ya Allah, patawarin mo sila. Ya Allah, gabayan mo sila. Do you do that? Allah is very hard. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to belong us among the people to forgive others. And inshallah, if you will do that, inshallah, you will be also forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is all about the hadith that we learned. Okay, the last one. Wala tada baru. Okay, we finish the hasan. Wala tada baru. Tada bar, meaning, when you do not talk to your brother, it is not love in Islam not to talk to your brother within three days. You have to be reconciled. You have to forgive him. Okay? So this is the meaning of tadabu. Tadabu to cut your relation to him. Tadabu meaning to keep away from him. You ignore, you neglect, you don't consider him anymore as your brother in Islam. No. Wa kunu ikhwana. Prophet وسلم, and be consider yourself as a brother. You should be a brother in Islam. Wala yahduli Muslim, and it is not allowed to a Muslim believer Muslim to keep away from his brother within a period of three days. No, you have to make reconcile. After three days, you got wrong with him, you got hurt, you have to go to him, brother. I'm sorry. I hope you forgive me if I got wrong with you. And I forgive you also if you get wrong with me. But the fact is that we need to forgive one another because this is what Allah wants us so that we will be forgiven. Because, Adit of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the deeds of the two brothers in Islam, even whatever they do good deeds, Allah will not accept their deeds. It is hanging, pending. Hindi tatanggapin yung mga maputing gawain nila, nandun pa lang sa itaas, hindi tatanggapin. Hanggang sa sabihin ng Allah, hanggang sila ay magkasundo at magpatawad sa isa't isa, 
asa lang alam tatanggapin ng kanilang mga mga gawain. E paano kung hindi mo tinanggap, hindi tinanggap dahil isa tatlong taon hindi na kayo nag-usap? <laughs> you see that? There are some other people, they don't even talk within a period of many years because only of simple money, because only of words, because only of when they get hurt with their hearts. Huh? Ah. So, alhamdulillah, this is so important to learn from what I did in the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah forgive us and accept Allah's forgiveness.